Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about definition of Charles law and a simple illustration of Charles law. Where we see that Charles law states that the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at constant pressure. Remember, we said that absolute temperature, that one must be there for it to be correct. And again, we did a simple illustration using round bottom the flask, rubber bang, glass tube, colored ink, then we dipped each into each into different temperatures. We had warm water and we had cold water. And we said that the one which was dipped in warm water, the ink or the colored ink rose because the heat energy in warm water made the kinetic energy of air inside the round bottom of the flask to increase and this air expanded and that's why this expansion of air inside the round bottom of the flask pushed the ink upwards to create more space for the air. And in the second where we had dipped it in ice cold water we saw the ink dropping or coming down because the ice cold water reduced the temperatures of the air inside the round bottom of the flask. Hence, the kinetic energy was decreased and therefore the, the drop or the colored water just dropped because the volume, the volume decreased. In our today's lesson, we are going to do a demonstration on the graphical representation of Charles law. So graphical representation of Charles law. And with me I have sample results of volume of a fixed mass of a gas with its temperature. I have two columns, one or two rows, sorry, volume in cubic centimeters and temperature in degrees Celsius. So volume 30, temperature 0. Volume 32 centimeters, cubic centimeters, then temperature 20 degrees. Volume 34 cubic centimeters, a temperature at 40 degrees. Volume at 37, 37 cubic centimeters, temperature at 60. Then volume at 39 cubic centimeters and temperature at 80 degrees. Volume at 41 cubic centimeters and temperature at 100 degrees Celsius. And lastly, volume at 43 cubic centimeters at 120 degrees Celsius. Remember, these are just some sample results which I want us now to draw a graph to demonstrate Charles' law. I will draw the graph. It is just a simple, a simple graph. So in our graph, the graph will be volume against temperature. So volume, the units are centimeters cubed, and temperature, temperature is in degrees Celsius. Maybe 
have a scale. So the scale always is determined by the figures you have. Temperature, you have the lowest figure at zero and the highest figure at 120. Therefore, all the figures should be accommodated in your scale. That's why you're supposed to choose an appropriate scale which will fit all your readings on the on the on your table. Let's say we start with zero. We can have 20, we can have 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120. That way, all our values, both the lowest and the highest, have been accommodated in our scale. Then on the y-axis, we have the lowest figure is 30 and the highest is 43. Therefore, we can have a scale of 10. It's from 0 to 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So with 50, all the values are accommodated. Remember again, this is a sketch. It is not drawn to scale because we, it is not a graph paper. It's just a ball to do a demonstration. Now we go to plotting. You look at volume and temperature. When volume is at 30, temperature is zero. Therefore, the plot should be at that position. The next, you have volume at 32, temperature at 20. Therefore, volume at somewhere around there is 32, then temperature 20. The plot should be at that kind of position. The next, you have volume at 34 and temperature at 40. So this is 40 then 34 is somewhere up. It's that kind of a position. Next we have volume at 37, temperature at 60, it's temperature at 60, then volume at 37. Next is volume at 39 cubic centimeters, temperature at 80. 39. Next, you have volume at 41 cubic centimeters, temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. That kind of a position. And lastly, you have volume at 43 cubic centimeters and temperature at 120. Therefore, it can be position like that that you have now done your plotting now the graph you need to join the the plots you can join the plots That is our line. Though again, it's not very straight because of some of the, the, it was just a sketch. Therefore, from that graph, you can be able to identify, one, that when the volume increases, when the volume increases, temperature also increases, even from the table. 
when the volume is 30 degrees Celsius, sorry, when the volume is 30 cubic centimeters, temperature is at zero. When you raise the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius, the volume also rises to 32 cubic centimeters. When temperature rises to 43 degrees Celsius, then volume also rises to, to 34 cubic centimeters. And therefore, when, when temperature rises, the volume also rises. This is because the heat energy supplied heat energy supplied increases the kinetic energy of the air making making it expand and hence occupying a larger volume and hence occupying a larger volume so the heat energy you know, maybe you will be asking where the heat energy is coming from. So this heat energy is from the temperature. Anytime you raise the temperature, there is heat. That heat is now making the kinetic energy, kinetic energy of the particles to expand. They move more fast, occupying more space and that's why the volume increases i hope you get that then i hope again you can be able to draw graphical representation of charles law and again when you're drawing the graph there are three things to follow the scale should be good second the plotting again you should plot very well and the third is again you should draw a smooth curve not a smooth curve then a straight line where need be. So for example, this Charles law is just a straight, a straight line. That's why I've used a ruler to draw a straight line. Though my, mine again is not very straight because it is just a straight. But now if it was drawn to scale, it would be very straight. So that brings us to the end of our lesson. But just before I end, I want to give you this assignment. You have these readings. I want you to draw a graph of volume against temperature. Draw a graph of volume against temperature. Remember mine was drawn, not drawn to scale. So want you now, you draw yours to scale and answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. The first one determine determine the volume at forty five degrees Celsius. Determine the volume 
of the gas determine the volume of the gas at 45 degrees celsius the volume of the gas at 45 degrees celsius the second question determine the temperature of the gas at 38 cubic centimeters determine the temperature of the gas at 38 cubic centimeters ensure that you've drawn a good graph and that good graph will help you answer these questions comfortably that brings us to the end of our lesson thank you for being attentive we meet in the next lesson bye